So there's this new rumor floating around the internet uh, of, a, of a leak, or I guess a sort of indirect confirmation of a Mandalorian game. Because in a recent update video, Phil Spencer, who is like the head honcho over at over at the Xbox division of Microsoft, was seen and he had a Funko Pop of a man, of Mando in his back shelf. People took notice of this and they started to ask questions. When Nick, who is the co-founder and the co-host of the Xbox Era podcast, actually did confirm that a Mandalorian game was in the works. Now obviously there's a lot of speculation here and a lot of rumors floating around, so I would take all of this information with a grain of salt. But for now, we can basically say that there is potentially a Mandalorian type game in the works. As silly as it might sound to get this kind of speculation from something that just someone had in the background of a shot, you have to understand that Phil Spencer is a very, very important figurehead over at Microsoft. He's a super big deal and there's kind of different rules now. When you're that big, you're no longer just an individual, you're a representative of the company. You represent Microsoft and Xbox, and what people can speculate from your background is is actually really important. You can't just have something that's not associated with Microsoft or Xbox or in, in any way in the background because that could potentially lead to some legal trouble. So in a way, even though it does sound really silly, when Phil Spencer gets on these talk shows or does these podcasts or interviews or whatever, he does need to be careful about these sort of things. So a Mandalorian Funko Pop being in the background might be deliberate to some people. So while this rumor is floating out there and while people are talking about this to death, I want to have a little fun with the subject and talk about what I would want to see in a Mandalorian video game if it's happening. Now, honestly, in my opinion, any license belonging to Disney going over to the gaming world really hasn't been working out that well in the past. Um, I know there's a couple exceptions, like Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order was a pretty good game. Um, and then Battlefront and Battlefront 2 eventually got good, but when you have disasters like Marvel's Avengers and you have you know the launches of Star Wars Battlefront and Battlefront 2, it does leave me a little bit concerned for what they want to do with this whole thing. And whoever is developing it over at Microsoft is still not confirmed yet. So I'm just going to get a little wild with it. I'm just going to get a little crazy with it and just... I'm going to stick to the rules of it has to be an Xbox-owned studio because as of right now, we're just juggling with the idea that, let's just say hypothetically, it's going to be an Xbox exclusive. It's probably not, but let's play with that idea. So my ideal version of a Mandalorian-type video game would be, of course, developed by Obsidian, um, and it would be a full-blown open-world action RPG game in which you, the man, you play as Mando or maybe just a Mandalorian and you explore the galaxy doing quests for people, picking up bounties, doing just all sorts of tasks, collecting money to upgrade your armor and your ship. And there's an overarching story, but the focus is on a lot of just going into towns and seeing what people need help with for cash. Because essentially that's what you are. You're a bounty hunter and you kind of float from town to town making allies along the way. And I think that that being explored in a video game medium would be extremely interesting to me. Um, Because to me, that was the beauty of the first season of The Mandalorian, is that the overarching story was kind of there in every single episode, but you could watch every episode individually and still get the gist of what was going on. They served as fulfilling just single episodes that you could get through. And I really miss that with television nowadays because you, a lot of TV shows have to have this arc that spans the entire season that you just can't afford to miss. There's no such thing as serialized television anymore. And I felt like the first season of Mandalorian was a really good return to that. And then season two kind of went to the more story-focused, complete season where you need to watch every episode or you'll be lost. So having something like a serialized television in a video game would be pretty cool. You know, going from different planets and doing quests and all that. But I can obviously understand that would get boring pretty quickly because you're just essentially doing busy work with no real purpose. So... I'd love there to be some kind of storyline, and I feel like Obsidian are a great choice for this because 
Not only are their RPG systems deep and complex and force you to make tough decisions at times, they're also surprisingly decent storytellers and writers too. And I mean, honestly, we've already seen what Obsidian are capable of with Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, which is widely regarded as one of the best games and RPGs ever made. So I feel like it's a match made in heaven because this studio knows what they're doing. They put the love and care and attention that RPGs need. I would love that as you collect money and level up your character, you could return back to that kind of hub area where the Mandalorians live to upgrade your armor, buy better weapons, or just explore the explore the galaxy with different kinds of weaponry and cultures and all that. And I feel like with this game, you could really take the time to expand the Star Wars universe and kind of bridge the gap between the prequel series and the sequel series. Um, and just really have fun with the extended universe of Star Wars because... In popular mainstream media, we've only really stuck with like the Skywalkers <clears throat> or the central conflict of Star Wars. The Mandalorian is kind of a nice break from that, and I feel like it was really refreshing and original Star Wars media. And I would love that I would love for that to be further explored to like the 10th or 20th degree. Like just fucking go balls to the wall with this game give obsidian the budget they need to make this the best game they possibly can and dude like it'll sell so much because star wars is already such a huge property like you really don't have to worry about advertising it you could literally just say imagine you exploring the entirety of the star wars universe or not the entirety but a, a big chunk of it like a sizable chunk in an 80 plus hour game where you got to level up your character and do missions and play this epic story like i really do think that the sky's the limit with this kind of potential and xbox and microsoft definitely have the studios that can make this work now before i end this video i want to say just again keep in mind that these are all rumors nothing is confirmed yet until xbox themselves say something or an official star wars account or an official xbox or microsoft account tweets this Nothing is really confirmed yet. This video is just me kind of talking about the rumor and then going nuts with an idea and then going nuts with the idea of an open world Mandalorian Star Wars game. So I just want to make that clear again. What are your thoughts on a Mandalorian game? What would you want that to be? Go ahead and leave me a comment down below so that we can discuss this. And if you like this video and you want to see more like it, go ahead and click subscribe and I will see you guys next time.